In this install video, we will go over how to install the Crawford Performance version 3 air oil separator on a 2008 to 2014 WRX, a 2008 to present STI, or any turbocharged 2.5 liter EJ engine. The tools you'll need for this installation include pliers, flathead screwdriver, 10 millimeter wrench and or socket, 12 millimeter wrench and or socket, and a ratchet. For the locking clamps, ideally use the special tool. Start by disconnecting the ground on your battery. In order to install this unit on your 2015 or newer STI, you will need to delete the cabin sound generator. Using pliers, squeeze the clip and move it away from the end of the hose. Repeat for the other end connected to the intake. With a 10 millimeter socket or wrench, remove the two bolts. Using the plugs provided, cap off the openings in the firewall and intake. Next, we remove the intercooler. Using a flathead screwdriver or specialty tool, release the locking clamps that hold the hoses onto the crossover pipes. Set those aside for reinstallation. Using a 12 millimeter socket or wrench, remove the bolts from either side of the intercooler. Remove the two bolts from the recirculation valve. On the hose that holds the throttle body to the intercooler, loosen the screw on the rear clamp as well as the screw on the clamp underneath the intercooler on the turbo inlet hose. Remove the two 12mm bolts from the intercooler bracket that is connected to the intake manifold and set the bracket aside. Grab both sides of the intercooler and wiggle it away from you until it pops off the throttle body hose. Then to the right to pop it off the turbo inlet. On the throttle body hose, loosen the screw on the clamp closest to you. Pull off the hose and set aside. Using a 10 millimeter socket or wrench, remove the four bolts from the back of the throttle body housing. Push the throttle body back and out of the way for the next step, attaching the AOS. In order to make it easier to access these bolts, use zip ties or other methods to clear your path. On the US passenger side behind and underneath the intake manifold, locate the bolts that hold the fuel injector cover to the intake manifold. Using a 12mm wrench, remove these two bolts and place them in the appropriate holes on the AOS bracket. 
on an STI or with an aluminum intake manifold, place the bolts and holes A and C. On a WRX or with a plastic intake manifold, place the bolts and holes B and C. The three supplied washers are for the bolt that goes into hole C only if installing on a WRX or with a plastic manifold. For an STI or aluminum intake manifold, you will not need these washers so you can add them to your coffee can of randoms. Take the two supplied O-rings and slide them over the bolts to hold them in place. Place the AOS canister as shown and use your 12mm wrench to tighten the two bolts. Underneath the throttle body, remove the PVC to intake manifold hose by squeezing the clamp with pliers and moving it away from the end of the hose. Repeat for the other end of the hose that is located beneath the turbo inlet. Remove the hose completely and either throw away or store, as this component will not be reinstalled. Route the supplied 40 inch 3 8 hose underneath the wiring harness onto the exposed nipple beneath the throttle body. Slip a worm clamp over the hose and push the hose onto the nipple until it butts up against the flange. Tighten the worm clamp so that the hose cannot be pulled off by hand but not so tight that it cuts the hose. Use this method when tightening all remaining worm clamps. Using a 10 millimeter wrench or socket, reattach the throttle body by tightening the four bolts. Route the 40 inch hose as pictured to the US driver's side of the throttle body and up and over the intake manifold. Attach the supplied 20 inch 3 8 hose to the PVC nipple exposed underneath the turbo inlet. Slip a worm clamp over the hose and push the hose onto the nipple until it butts up against the flange. Tighten the worm clamp. Route the 20 inch hose behind the plug as pictured, either before attaching to the nipple or by removing and reattaching the plug. Using your flathead screwdriver or specialty tool, remove the hose from the white sensor by the turbo inlet. Pull the hose off the sensor and either throw away or store the locking clamp. Replace the locking clamp with one of the supplied worm clamps. Attach this loose hose to the supplied straight plastic fitting. Attach the 5 inch, half inch hose to the other end of the fitting. Slip over a worm clamp and tighten both clamps. Attach the other end of the 5 inch hose to port number 4 on the AOS. Route the hose underneath any of the pre-existing hoses that may be in the way. Slip a supplied worm clamp over the hose and push the hose onto the port until it butts up close to the can. Trim if necessary and tighten the worm clamp. Slip on one of the supplied worm clamps to the 20 inch 3 8 hose and push the hose onto port number 2 on the AOS. Trim if necessary and tighten the worm clamp.
Attach the supplied 43 inch half inch hose to the nipple on the white sensor. Slip the worm clamp over the hose and push the hose to the nipple until it butts up against the sensor. Tighten the worm clamp. Route the 40 and 43 inch hoses together as shown, over the intake manifold and underneath the coolant tank hoses and plug. Slip a worm clamp over each hose. Attach the 40 inch 3 8 hose to port number one on the AOS and attach the 43 inch half inch hose to port number three on the AOS. Trim if necessary and tighten both worm clamps. Reattach the throttle body hose by pushing it on the housing. Using a flathead screwdriver, tighten the clamp closest to you. In the next and final step, we reinstall the intercooler. Grab the intercooler and slide it onto the turbo inlet, then into the throttle body hose. Patience. Use the forks. Think. Use one hand to pull the intercooler into its original position and tighten the clamp to secure in place. Tighten the clamp on the turbo inlet. On the US driver's side of the intercooler, re-secure the hose back into its clip. Replace the intercooler mounting bracket and finger tighten its three bolts. Replace the recirculation valve and finger tighten its two bolts. Replace the bolt for the other side of the intercooler and finger tighten. Using a 12 mm socket or wrench, tighten all six bolts. Replace the two locking clamps for the crossover pipe hoses. Slip each hose onto each pipe, and using your pliers, re-secure the locking clamps. If you have difficulties reinstalling the original locking clamps, we have supplied extra worm clamps in your kit. Repeat for the hose on the other side. Check that all hoses cannot be pulled off by hand. And that's it. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to give us a call or send us an email to technical at crawfordperformance.com.